Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 14th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Some people don't realize it. I'm sorry I have to keep repeating myself, but it is what it is because a lot of people just don't get it. Anyhow, this is a reading for August 14th. We're just This is a reading that I'm recording for that date. After this reading, I'm going to do a full moon reading right after this, and then I'm going to start my Septembers. Uh, I have my eyes closed and I'm, I'm seeing things, but anyhow, we, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, no, we're going to get to it right now. So the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is is very prominent here. The Six of Pentacles is about give and take, receiving. I really, I feel like this is about receiving, you know, what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. So I feel like we have somebody that's about to receive something, you know, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Um, you can, somebody may have also set some sort of intentions, you know, they set some intentions six months ago and now you are starting to see the benefits of what the intentions that you set. This is a full moon coming up. So if you set some intentions six months ago, you know, you may expect your reward with that six of pentacles, whatever this is, the six of pentacles, there's something, somebody is about to receive something good, bad, indifferent, whatever. You know, you get what you give. Um, so if you have given your energy, you know, to the universe and you have, you know, set intentions, I think you're about to receive something. This could be something financial. Whatever this is, it could help your insecurities. It could help your stabilities. Um, yeah. So the next card that I see is, oh, damn it, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Damn it. So that's emotional disappointment. So I'm not sure where that's coming from, but there's some sort of emotional disappointment here with the Eight of Cups. You know, that is, you know, if you, you think about it, that's walking away, walking away from something. Um, maybe that's what somebody deserves. Maybe somebody, you know, deserves to see somebody walk away. You know what I'm, what you, you get what you deserve. You do. And so that is a fact. I have to tell you what I see and that's the way it goes. Um, but the Eight of Cups could also be headed towards something else more emotionally fulfilling. Headed towards the Nine of Cups, right? Headed towards wish fulfillment. Leaving the whatever's behind you, behind you. So somebody may be, you know, going after what they deserve. You know, they're going after that full satisfaction. Um, there is some sort of emotional disappointment here, though, with the Eight of Cups. That is what the meaning of the card means. So there is some sort of emotional disappointment. Now I see the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles is some is very solid, stable, hardworking, practical, clever, um, materialistically oriented. This this King of Pentacles has something uh, stable and solid. So somebody may be receiving, you know, I don't know if it's money from somebody else or help from somebody else. Something that is stable, okay. So, um, whatever is happening, it is leading a person towards happiness because the sun card just came in. Um, and you need to have faith and trust, faith and trust, faith and trust, faith and trust, faith and trust. That's what I just saw. Faith and trust, faith and trust. Believe, believe. When you set your intentions, you have to believe. And when you believe, you will get. Okay, that's that Six of Pentacles. So I feel like we have somebody that is reaping some sort of reward from their manifestations. All right, let's get started. Um, they're headed towards the Nine of Cups. It's like a... And, and the Six of Pentacles as well. It's like... They're giving you something that you asked for. So that's a wish fulfillment. So somebody is about to have some sort of wish granted, but it may not be, I don't think it's a person. Do you know what I'm saying? So if you're sitting here thinking it's a person, you know, it's a person, it's a person coming back or it's a person in my, no, I don't think it's a person. I don't. I think it's an object of some sort. Now, the King of Pentacles is very materialistic, like I said. So, there's some sort of uh, receiving something solid. Maybe even a golden opportunity, okay? Maybe it's the opportunity that you manifested, you receive 
very, very soon. Oh, damn. Damn it. You know what this is. This is the tower. So this is a wake-up call. We are about to experience another disruption. And please don't comment below why. This is a universe card. The universe brings disruption into your life so that you will change. Because somebody has been refusing to change. Somebody has been living in an uncomfortable situation. And it's not feasible. It's not practical. It's, it's, it's eventually... It's going to cause disability. Anyhow, there's about to be a universal disruption. And yes, it's not over yet. This is a realignment. It's time. It's time to realign. You can't block your heart you can't block the truth forever it hurts it's not comfortable we have somebody that has been very stubborn by the looks of things stubborn as hell trying to prove something the universe is like no 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 boom sorry that slipped what do we got what do we got for the 14th nine of cups reversed now this is deep fulfillment is coming three of swords painful this is painful painful separation the three of swords we have a doctor a judge and a lawyer somebody you know there's a decision that is being made and it hurts it hurts it's not good news <laughs> a lawyer a judge and a doctor it is not good news so mm, somebody could be receiving news you know that they don't want to hear. Oh, God. Oh, no. My brother is calling. I'm not going to answer it. Mmm. somebody could receive a phone call from a family member there's no such thing as coincidence and if you think there is go ahead and think that I'm not gonna try to convince you but whatever uh, I know I know somebody knows it's like they're they're being divinely guided this is part of the script it's part of the script she's got the script in her hand so this has been foreseen for some time it has been foreseen somebody is going to need to find their strength they're going to receive a message probably that they don't want to hear something has gone south something is going south something is not coming to fruition there is some sort of decision that is being made. Somebody is going to receive a message from somebody. It may hurt. I'm being honest with you. Somebody may have made some poor choices. And now, like I said, the decision, somebody has made a decision. And they're taking action to bring success. Somebody is taking action. This is manifestation. Somebody has manifested something. There's a divine connection. Somebody has used their divine connection to manifest something. And you know, if you manifest something that is not meant to be, that is false, 
karma will kick you in the ass. That's another thing people don't understand. You gotta leave it up to the universe. You can't put a name on things. Anyhow, um, King of Coins reversed. Somebody has absolutely made some poor decisions, some poor financial decisions, some poor decisions based on stability and security. And now they're insecure because of their lack of vision. You know, whatever they invested in didn't grow or didn't come to fruition because they were greedy or they had the wrong intentions. Oh, I get it. They had the wrong intentions. Now justice is about to be served. So there is some sort of, absolutely a decision is being made. A just and fair decision is being made. But it may not be what you want to hear. So I feel like if somebody is going to receive some news that they saw coming. It's like they knew it was coming. They knew this was going to come. That somebody, I mean, this is a card of power and this is a card of power. Somebody has found their inner power or they're about to need to find their power. They're going to need to find their inner resources to make a decision. So today could be a day of decision or hearing a message that somebody has made a decision The decision has been made that there's no fertility. Somebody could be losing their job. I'm just being honest with you. Or something that was stable to them in their lives. And that's it's just, it's, what goes around comes around. You get what you deserve. Somebody may have caused the disruption, you know, at home or at work. Because this is a structure. Somebody may have caused the disruption trying to prove themselves. And now they're being let go. So today could be the day of decision. The decision is being made. The, you know, yesterday was investigation. So I feel like today a decision has been made. Somebody is deciding that there's no more growth here. Nine of Cups reverse. This first card. Things are about to look up though. They are. If you're single, you're going to be, and you're looking, if you're single and you're looking and you're available, you're probably going to meet somebody. It could be somebody that you know. You may, you may run into somebody that you know. If you are in a coupled relationship, uh, well, somebody could be filing for divorce. If this is at work, somebody could be getting a pink slip. I'm just being honest with you. This is painful. This is. The Three of Swords is painful. And this is taking action to shed. The Magician, you're going to need to have your strength to deal with whatever this is. Somebody may have acted impulsively and now they're paying the price. And that's exactly what I think this is. Um, but there is a divine connection here. Somebody has manifested, and whether it be good or bad, karma is doesn't lose an address. So somebody has manifested some sort of, oh, I don't know. It looks like it's a, a separation of some sort. You know, it's some sort of, this is bad news, okay, the Three of Swords. There's, this is bad news. Somebody, and, and you get what you deserve, like that Six of Pentacles. But this is all happening because it's part of the plan. It's part of the script. Okay, it's part of the script. This disruption was brought to you from the universe. You have to have faith and trust. That deep fulfillment is coming. This was a false sense of security that you weren't meant to be stuck in. So the universe is here to help remove you from it, even though it hurts. So I feel as though there is a message coming, but it is a fair and just message. I think somebody has made a decision 
that this isn't practical this isn't reasonable this isn't solid it's not stable they you know there's no growth I'm taking this you know offer away you may need to restrain yourself or hold your head up high be proud of who you are the Empress the Empress this is the birth of a new life through pain and struggle we get a new life so somebody is about to experience basically a new beginning this is a rebirth but it comes after pain it does it does so we have some sort of uh, painful release that leads to the birth of something new so today is a day of disruption. This disruption is going to be painful, but it is going to allow you, it's going to bring you a miracle. It's going to bring you a reward. We have Libra, Taurus, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini, Pisces, Taurus, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have everybody here. But either way, today is a day of disruption. Something is about to become realigned. And it's probably going to hurt. And you're going to have to find the strength to deal with the pain. Because at the end of this, you will receive a reward. But you might not, you know, getting through the pain, it hurts. It hurts. So, whatever this is. It's meant to be. This is going to bring you towards something that really completes you. It's going to bring you towards deep fulfillment. But you're going to have to find the strength to face your pain and your fears in this disruption before you get your reward. So today is a day of disruption. This disruption needs to ha happen so that you can get the Nine of Cups. Remember we talked about the Eight of Cups. You, something There's going to be emotional disappointment that leads you towards the Nine of Cups. But there's pain that comes before it. So, so uh, yeah. Good luck.